We will now start to assemble the caliper of the hydraulic disc brake unit to the fork. First thing you have to take care of, once you start to install it, make sure that the plastic spacer is in the caliper to make sure that the pads are wide apart from each other. So simply use the two screws that come with the system, they're already pre-glued with Loctite, and simply assemble them onto the fork. Don't torque them down because at a later phase we still need to uh, align the caliper itself with the wheel and the disc. Just a couple of turns to make sure that the thread is engaged. Next step is to use the cable guide on the fork. In this case for the RockShock sit fork it's in the front. So unscrew that plastic part and basically fold it open like this. You put in the cable put the unit back on the fork. Again be gentle with it since it's just a simple plastic part and has no structural reasoning behind it whatsoever so just keep it like this. I pull at the cable and you will see that the exit of the cable of the caliper is not perfectly aligned with the fork. So what you do is you use the torque screw slightly loosen up that bolt one eighth of a turn push this thing up tighten it again and make sure that the cable is tight again now it's perfectly aligned with the fork next step obviously is that you can see that the hosing is way too long so we need to shorten it okay for the next step to shorten the cable make sure you use the safety goggles because the oil you know, might splash around a little bit. So remove the dust cap, like this, and there you see the nut, and simply untighten the nut with the 8 mil wrench. You take it out completely. In order to make sure that the length is correct, you take off this part, shove it back and put it next to the lever. Make sure that you leave a nice curvature over here and it's not a full straight line. You now determine how deep it has to be and you use the cable cutter to cut off the cable. Now we're going to put back the hose inside of the lever. In order to do so we need to have a new donut. We put the donut on top. Second step is to add this little device, the plunger, into the hose. Take the plastic cap that comes with the Muguras, secure it like this, take a pair of pliers and hold it like that. Now you hammer slightly and slowly with a plastic hammer to make sure there's a snug fit. You remove the plastic part again and you see it fits perfectly on top of the hose. You press in the hose into the system, push the banjo and the nut all the way up Make sure that the system is tight inside. And you start to tighten it with the 8mm wrench. Make sure that the hose doesn't slip out anymore and tighten it down. At some point you will start to feel a little bit of resistance which is okay. It's just the donut 
changing shape and make sure that there is a snug fit of the cable inside of the system. A little bit more. Now place back the dust cap. And you're ready to go.